Right, hello people. I have a rather large job today, which consists of refitting a new water pump, tensioner, and auxiliary belt. Now, I'm going to try and do it on the camera and like talk you through it, but it might not be possible. So, if it, if I do muck up, then sorry. Right, first things first is you have to jack up the engine so that you can remove the engine brace or engine mount, whatever you call it, because you can't get the belt off or the pump without it. So if I do that, and I'll come back to you in a sec. Right, so it's jacked up now, ever so slightly, I don't know if you can tell. But the first thing you have to do after that is you remove this. To do that, you have to undo these clips, obviously take that off. You undo this, and there's like a clip underneath that literally holds it in place, you pop it out, it'll give you access to that. Now, let's see if I can actually do this while still on the camera. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Should get the right size, no. Let's try again. Yeah, there's the one. Right, so. Right. This. Oh, the right way would be good, wouldn't it? And let's see if I can get it off with just that one. Yep, there we go. That was quite easy. Now, as I said, I just undo this. Making sure not to lose the bolt, because that would be a bit of a pain in the ass. in there for safekeeping, good idea. Right, so now this thing should, there we go, comes out in one piece. Might have to undo the thing at the bottom. And just for ease, I'm going to take this out as well, if I can. There we go. So, right, now that's cleared up a bit more space. Now what we've got to do is there's a bolt here Another one there, and here, and here, and there. And take all them off, and the engine mount should come out. So, we'll be willing, let's find the right size. Uh, that one maybe? Oh yes, I'm awesome. So, right, swap over the thing. I am thinking about getting a head mounted camera be really good for this. Ah, there it is. Okay. Right, one minute. Right, so now do this. by the look of it. Oh, that's that one. And put that bolt somewhere safe. Now, this is going to be quite awkward to do with holding the camera. But, so I'll handle them bolts, like I said, and I'll be back. After a bit of kerfuffling and what have you, actually got it removed. But there's actually three bolts. So you had the two that I told you, and then there's one underneath the pulley. So now that's done, we can actually start getting to the like guts of the thing. And what you need to do is obviously 
disconnect the thermostat this pipe this pipe this little pipe and I need to swap over this sensor so once I've done that I will be back hello I'm back see I've removed the thermostat now I've got to remove this and this clip and that one there and these oh battery fitted clips are a pain in the neck so due to a good friend of mine who's a mechanic he's let me this tool which is awesome if you can focus on removing them and basically what you do is you open it up you place the two little clips on either side of the prongs on the circle clip and you pull the trigger and the more you pull the tighter we go the looser it gets sorry and then it will slip free so I would like to try and show you that but I don't think I can do it because I need both hands so see you in a minute right after a little more swearing I have now at this point see all the pipes have been disconnected top one at the back two at the front well the thermostat now to loosen the drive belt you need to use a tensioner I'm not sure what size that is so let's have a quick look with mine nope that's going to be the big one that I've just had so there she is and that ain't going to work Hmm. I'll have to give this one a think. Okay, so I've removed the auxiliary belt, and to do that, basically, most people know you use, you use some tensioner. This is the tensioner bolt, and I use this thing. So you put it on, it's just for any breaker bar I do, and if you push it, you can see it moves. release the tension so that you can then remove the belt so yeah we're getting there so once we've removed this we need to remove the tensioner because I've got a new one and then it's reassembly but once I get the pull to pump off there's a few bits I need to show you so I'll be back for that ta-ta for now all right slight technical addendum you need to have the belt on to be able to undo this, these bolts, because it spins freely. So there's no way to purchase. So I've had to put the belt back on just for that. And then I'm going to fit the belt to the new pump, because otherwise it will just spin freely when I'm trying to put it back on later. So it's not focused. No, it didn't work, did it? No, no. No, it's not going to work. So I just thought I'd let you know that bit carry on right, as you can see I've removed the water pump and there it is in all its glory a bit manky so now I've just got to remove the gas and replace but I'm also doing the um, tensioner so for that I gather it's literally just to undo that bolt there and maybe no, I think that's it just that bolt there and it unhooks but I'll let you know if I get any problems all right so got the tensioner out the reason I did the tensioner was it was making a rattling noise and I thought while I'm doing the pump I want some tension I'll come there I'm so glad I did because if you see this is the new one no it's not brand new but it's newer see this one It literally just fell apart. The metal has gone on there, big groove in there, you know. So maybe that's lucky I did that when I did, because that could have been rather catastrophic if it went on the road. So now I just got to take off the gasket for the water pump, which doesn't look too bad really, but I have a new one, so I will use it. 
so that's what it looks like with all the stuff taken off and I will now attempt to put it all back and I will give you little updates as I go so wish me luck just another quick note my mechanic friend suggested or told me that when I take the bolts out of the pump put them in the spaces in the new pump because they are different lengths so only one goes in a certain point and then he said once you've got the old one out transfer them onto the old one so you know where to put them in the new one so that's a nice little bit of information and a tip so anyway on we crack all right another quick update as you see got the water pump on new tensioner in just need to get the old no, i think it's the temperature sensor to go in there and antifreeze and we should be good to go. So, right, after a bit of fiddling and a few choice bullets, the belt is on. 